Well, welcome back folks. Today we are out doing some fishing again on the ice. We had a lot of rain the past few days and the ice is kind of funky. The top layer, the top like maybe inch is kind of honeycomb and underneath of that it's still pretty solid. So we got good ice out here yet. But um, what we're doing is we're gonna run some jaw jackers. I'm putting just a little tiny crappie minnow on here. We're gonna put it down. We're gonna have the camera recording it so hopefully it can get the fish, you know, when it sets the hook on the fish because that's pretty cool. And then we're gonna be jigging inside the shack and we're gonna be trying all sorts of fun stuff today. So uh, hopefully we can catch some fish, whether we catch Northerns, largemouth bass, bluegills, crappies, perch. We're just doing it all today and we're going fishing, so join us. So our minnow's on the camera, right where it needs to be at. Maybe I'll raise it up just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit here. Be careful with the trigger system on this. So now once uh, once the fish bites that minnow, the pole's gonna set the hook all by. We got a perch down there already. So, so there's already a fish down there checking out our minnow. So with this jaw jacker, I'm gonna try something completely different. I grabbed a couple wax worms, and this one has just a small treble hook on it, pretty much like what I'm always running. Number like 15 or so, number 14, 15, just super duper small. I'm just gonna put waxies on it. Put one on there, we'll wrap that to the next, and then maybe something super finicky will come up and eat this, or I don't know, we'll, we'll just have to see. So I'm gonna go in the shack, start jigging on the camera with Sydney, and see what we can find. Well, this is way out of the box for ice fishing, but you gotta keep plastics around once in a while. Today, what I'm gonna try to do is catch a bass or a fish on the drop shot. So a drop shot is a weight at the bottom, and then you tie a hook just into your line a little bit up, whether it's a foot up or a foot and a half, just depends on what depth you're targeting. But since we're in about eight foot here, I'm gonna you know do just about a foot or so. Taking the worm, I'm gonna put this bad boy on, just through the head and we're gonna get it down there on the camera start jiggling it around maybe we'll catch a pike i mean pike eat these things so this is gonna be our setup just like that let's put her down there see what she looks like and we're fishing this is wild i bet it's it's gonna work it's gonna be like it's gotta work there's our look at this so we got our we got our sinker down there on the bottom oh and then we got our worm oh yeah Money. That looks money. Let's try that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Like that's just, it looks stupid good. Oh, the wax worm. The wax worm one went off. Oh my goodness! Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho. Dude, that is a football of a perch. It just hit the treble hook with the jigs or with the with the waxies, dude. Just chilling, stagnant, like not even jigging. Mondo perch. He is beat up. He's an old guy. We're definitely gonna let this fish go because that is a beaut for northern Wisconsin, right there. Wow. Crazy. We're gonna take a couple pictures and we'll let him right, right back. While we put him on the bump, he's 13 inches. What a beauty of a perch. We'll let him go right now. Come on, buddy. Clear water. That was amazing. I can't I can't believe that. Literally, like just just wax worms chilling on the treble hook. <laughs> Wild. Wild. You never know what you're gonna catch. Oh, that's a good one. It's bending hard. Be easy with it. Be easy. Bat. Oh, pike. Nice. Nice. Yeah, this is only eight pound on this one. Look at that right in the corner of the mouth and it's unhooked. Nice little pike for you. Boom. They're biting today.
No, we're good. It's a bass. Pretty sure. Yeah. Nice large mouth. Come on up, buddy. Look at that. That's a good one. <laughs> That's what we were after, and he's barely hooked on his tongue. Tiny little treble. Look at that. There we go. Haha. <laughs> All right. Back he goes. Probably about a 16 incher. Boom. That's what we're trying to catch today. Big old large mouth. Oh, oh, it's a good one. It's around the camera. It's around the aqua view. I think it's just a pike. Nope, he got off. Another bass. Another largemouth. Whew. Oh my goodness, and there's the hook out. Largemouth. Heck yeah, we're catching fish. This guy's got a little scarred up on his face. See that there on his cheekbone? Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to let this guy go. See you later, buddy. Ha <laughs> ha. We're doing it. Oh, my gosh. It snapped. It was a pike. I watched it right here at the hole. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Giant perch. Uh, if his nope. dorsal's messed up, no. No, he's not. That's another giant. Bring him on board. <laughs> <laughs> That's a giant perch. But he's still out. Look at that little itty bitty trouble hook. What uh, is this? I know, right? It's tiny. Take pics. 13. Thirteen. That's your probably your biggest perch. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's gone. Oh, bass, pike. Oh, I just got reeled by a pike. Come on, come on, pike, come what? back. Yeah, pike on the drop shot. He came in like super slow and just wham. I stung him a little bit. He might turn around. Here we go. He's coming back. He is, he is coming back. There he is. Here we go. That's a nice fight. It's always hard. Can you look down and see him? No. Dang it. I seen him just barely coming in the back and I was like, ooh. Oh, there we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. What do you have? Oh, if he oh, comes and so eats cool. the camera. That is so cool. I hope he tries to eat it. That is so cool. Yes. Yes! <laughs> That is oh. awesome. I can't believe you just hit the camera. All right, you're gonna catch him. Make sure he gets the hook. Yeah, I was just going wild. Here we go. He Here we go, you got him. All right, idiot. Doesn't have the hook yet. Turn, buddy. Drop down, drop down. He's going for your sinker. Show me a worm. Go back, back down, 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 and he's still there, he's still there, he's still there, he's still there, he's still there. Pop, 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 
Don't dig that thing. Turn him around. Yeah. There you go. There he is. <laughs> go, bud. On what? <laughs> on your little drop shot you got going on here. Oh, my goodness. Come on, bud. There he is. Nice. That is awesome. Super cool. Look at that, right in the corner of the mouth. Caught the guy that bit the camera. That is wild. Yeah, he's a hungry fella. He just came up and bit the camera. You wanna hold on to him? All right, cool, cool. There you go, honey. Well, look at that. Look at how yellow he is by his tail. Mm -hmm. Never seen one that yellow. Oh, yeah. Super cool. All right, well, sweet pike on the drop shot. What in the world? Got it done. All right. See you later, buddy. <laughs> Good job. Cool. Sweet. Fish on the waxy. Another jumbo. Oh, no. It's a big old gill. Oh. Look at that! That's a tank bluegill on the jaw jacker. With this is just a treble hook with wax worms. That is a tank. Nice. Treble hooks just right in there. That'll pop out pretty easy. So let me get this guy unhooked. I took a couple pictures, letting them go back. Whoosh. <laughs> and we still got some waxies. We're just gonna pop this thing right back down. That's the, uh, I think that's like the first bluegill I've ever caught on a jaw jacker. That's just crazy. There's our slip knot right to the tip, back at it, and we are set up again. Well, we're just getting packed up right now. Um, caught quite a few fish today. Got some big perch, got a big bluegill, caught some bass, caught some pike. Got one pike on the drop shot. I thought we'd maybe see some more bass or more fish interact with the drop shot, but uh, I guess today wasn't the day. So, Hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something, got some cool footage. Thanks for watching, like always, see you next time.